When you hear the term plant-eating dinosaur, you probably think of a peaceful, harmless creature munching on some leaves, right? You know, like today's cows or deer. We've been taught that carnivorous dinosaurs were the real monsters, the terrifying predators hunting anything that moved, and the herbivores, just the innocent prey. But hold up, because we've had it all wrong. What if I told you that those plant-eating dinosaurs you thought were harmless were actually the most terrifying creatures in the prehistoric world? Yeah, you heard that right. Triceratops and its leaf-eating friends weren't some gentle giants. These guys were walking nightmares, built to fight back and turn the tables on anything that tried to hunt them. What was supposed to be prey? More like prey that hunted its hunter. Imagine thinking you're about to get an easy meal, only for that meal to suddenly turn into a weaponized tank that could rip you apart. Triceratops roamed the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, roughly 68 to 66 million years ago, and it was far from a passive herbivore. With its massive size, up to 30 feet long and weighing more than 12 tons, it was a titan of its time. This sheer bulk alone made it a formidable presence on the prehistoric landscape. But new studies suggest that Triceratops may have been more terrifying than we thought. Recent research indicates that they might have had even more defensive features than we previously imagined. Paleontologists have found evidence that Triceratops, like some of its Ceratopsian relatives, may have had long spines or quill-like structures running along its back. These structures, likely similar to those found on Psittacosaurus, a much smaller, earlier relative of Triceratops, could have added an entirely new layer of defense. Psittacosaurus, which lived millions of years before Triceratops, had quill-like structures on its tail that were likely used for defense, display, or both. These quills may have served to make the animal appear larger and more threatening to predators, while also functioning as a deterrent to anything trying to attack from behind. If Triceratops had similar spines running along its back, they would have created an even more terrifying creature. These spines, possibly sharp and long, would have made attacking Triceratops from the rear nearly impossible without risking severe injury. Imagine facing a Triceratops head-on, and knowing that if you tried to go around it or sneak up from behind, you'd encounter these dangerous spines. For a predator like a Tyrannosaurus rex or a group of raptors, Triceratops was suddenly not just a challenge from the front, but a dangerous opponent from all angles. These spines would have made it appear even larger and more intimidating, adding to the psychological warfare it waged on predators simply by existing. And that's not all. These spines, like the horns and frill, could have served a display function as well. If a rival Triceratops approached, these spines could flare up in a dramatic display of strength, signaling to the other creature that this was not an animal to mess with. In the intense competition for mates or dominance, these spines may have been as important for show as they were for defense. Picture two Triceratops facing off, their horns and spines on full display, each trying to out-intimidate the other, before a battle even begins. But Triceratops wasn't just about defense. When it needed to fight, it could. This creature, despite its size, could move with surprising speed. If a predator threatened it or its herd, the Triceratops could charge at speeds up to 20 miles per hour. That might not seem fast, but when you consider that this was a 12-ton animal, heavier than four fully grown elephants, that speed becomes terrifying. Imagine 12 tons of muscle, bone, and armor charging straight at you, its massive horns aimed like spears. There would be no stopping it, no dodging it, anything in its path would be crushed. And let's not forget, Triceratops wasn't a solitary creature. It often traveled in herds, which only made it more dangerous. If a predator like T-Rex thought it could take on a single Triceratops, it might soon find itself facing an entire herd of them. These herds wouldn't scatter at the sight of danger. They would charge. A wall of Triceratops, horns forward, spines raised, and bodies moving as one would have been a nightmare for any predator, no matter how fearsome. Together, they could defend their territory, protect their young, and destroy any threat. This idea of community, of strength in numbers, made Triceratops even more formidable. A lone Triceratops was dangerous enough, but a herd of them? That was a disaster waiting to happen for any predator. And with the potential addition of back spines, these herds become even more intimidating. Picture a group of Triceratops moving through the prehistoric landscape, their massive bodies bristling with spikes and horns, ready to defend themselves at a moment's notice. It's no wonder that predators likely thought twice before attacking. It wasn't just the physical attributes that made Triceratops terrifying, though. Its mentality was key. 
Triceratops wasn't an aggressive creature by nature. It didn't hunt or seek out fights. But it was built for war, designed to withstand any attack and respond with devastating force. If something threatened it, the response was immediate and violent. A predator that dared to attack would find itself on the receiving end of a flurry of horns, spines, and sheer brute strength. And Triceratops didn't back down easily. Once engaged, it would fight until the threat was neutralized, leaving behind nothing but broken bones and shattered predators. This new image of Triceratops, with its horns, armor, and potentially spines, is far more terrifying than the peaceful plant eater we once imagined. It was a creature designed to survive in the brutal, unforgiving world of the Cretaceous period. Its size, speed, and weaponry made it a force to be reckoned with, and its community-based defense strategies turned it into one of the most formidable creatures of its time. The possibility of spines on its back only adds to its fearsome reputation. These new defensive features would have made it nearly invulnerable from all sides, a walking fortress capable of destroying any predator that dared to challenge it, whether through its sharp horns, its impenetrable frill, or the spines that may have lined its back, Triceratops was a prehistoric nightmare, a creature that left a path of destruction wherever it went. So next time someone talks about the scariest dinosaurs, don't just think of sharp teeth and carnivorous jaws. Think of the tank with horns and spines. Think of Triceratops, the real terror of the Cretaceous.